Okay, this is the circuit we're going to make, and this is for the pressure sensor for the vacuum isolation chamber. It has a voltage output. It has three pins on it. One's at 11 volts or 10 volts. One's at ground. The other one is at V out. That is nominally about 1.0 volts. And we need to add a gain to that, and we're going to do that with a non-inverting amplifier. So that is going to feed into the non-inverting terminal on the op-amp. A resistor, go into our reference. These two set the gain. We call this R2. This one is R1. For now, I'm just gonna shotgun this and say this is 22 kilo ohms. R1 is one kilo ohm. And this gives us a gain of 1 plus R2 over R1, where we have about 22 plus 1. It's about a gain of 23. And then this is going to go into the microcontroller, so the analog input pins on the Arduino. Now this circuit needs what we call a reference voltage. That's the negative terminal. Reference voltage is a voltage follower op amp and the input goes to a potentiometer which goes from 0 to 5 volts and then the wiper is the terminal in the center of the potentiometer the knob right there you turn the knob it moves the wiper up that adjusts the DC voltage at this pin you're going to want it approximately the same as this voltage right here and when you do that it's going to make this circuit balance out so that the analog input is not going to be too high. Otherwise, if this is 1 volt and that was a gain of 23, you're going to want to get 23 volts here, which isn't possible because your op amp can only supply between 0 and 5 volts because of its power supplies, plus the Arduino can't take more than that. So we're going to build the circuit. The chip we're using is called an MCP6002 dual op amp. It's available by microchip. We're building the circuit on this extremely janky breadboard. It's broken on the bottom. The only part that's reasonably good is going to be over this double-sided tape that I stuck on there. So we'll throw down our op amp. Pin 1 is facing to the left right there. I'll put it here. Hopefully this breadboard works. I don't have another small one. You could saw the breadboard off, literally with a hacksaw, and put it into a circuit. Now I'm going to put in this piece right here. This is the uh, feedback loop. So it has a gain of 1 on this follower stage right there. Then the input of the follower is going to get fed by this potentiometer. So if we want the pin, the center pin to be here, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which corresponds to green. Throwing a jumper down, I'll put it down on the bottom just to get it out of the way, right there, and then the potentiometer can go in here, and the other two pins are going to be the, uh, the power supply pins. Now the pin over here is the ground pin, the VDD for the op amp, so if we make this side of the pot ground, Throw down another green by symmetry right there. So now our ground pin is right here to the right of my thumb. The positive is going to jump across the gap. Do that with this jumper right here, and I'm going to throw the, the jumper into get the ground across the gap as well, like that. Now we could put down our potentiometer, Let's see if it'll fit on there, that's looking good. And then we need to get, pin 8 is the positive, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4 is a yellow. Throwing down our positive power supply. And then, let's see, 
the feedback resistor is a 22K. It's red, red, orange. Get a pair of clippers, make the leads shorter. So we're gonna stand it up on end like this. Clip it off, plug it in here to the feedback. The side with the wire sticking up right there is the output. That's this piece of wire goes to your Arduino amplifier or no, your Arduino analog input. I'll drop that piece of wire in there. Yellow goes the analog in on the Arduino. And then the one kilo ohm resistor goes from the output of the voltage follower to pin two. That's that node right there. Our input goes to the rightmost pin. That's the pressure sensor input. I'm going to throw this red wire in here. That's pressure sensor input. And then we have power and ground. So five volts and ground. The ground is available right here. The power will make orange. That takes off over there. Last thing we're going to do is throw a decoupling capacitor in here between the power and the ground. And usually I like to throw it across the op amp, but got a little bit of real estate constraints, so I'll drop it over here. So another thing we can do is put a low pass filter on the output of this thing. That makes the uh, output of the amplifier a bit noise filtered. So what I'm going to do really quick is just throw in a first order low pass filter, RC filter. I'm going to make this 1K. This will be like 1 microfarad maybe. Let's just do the math real quick. So it's going to be 1 divided by parentheses 6.28. That's 2 pi times 1000 and then if we want the corner frequency to be around 10 hertz times 10 hertz that means we need a 15 microfarad capacitor 1.5 so if we just throw in a 10 then we should be good drop in my Resistor, cut the leads a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the filter in. I actually don't like the way that's sitting on the board. No, that'll work. Let's see. 10 microfarad capacitor. It's polarity sensitive. That goes over to the ground there. So this circuit. Now, if we move the yellow output over here. Now that's now our output. So that's now a 10 microfarad that's connected to ground. Let's see if this thing works. Got a function generator. We'll put like a 4 hertz sine wave in there. Amplitude small, 20 millivolts. The offset is 1 volt. That represents the, uh, or call it a signal. Output's turned on. Oscilloscope make the connections. So we said the input is red, ground is green. That part's connected. Now we connect this scope. Ground is green. I'm just going to grab this wire over here because it's easier to do. The witch's hat, this thing right here in my finger, goes over to the output. And then we need power for the circuit, obviously. Hopefully I have a 5 volt power supply sitting on my bench. It's right there, power supply. I think I connected it to 5 volts. If I didn't, this thing will burn out. We connect the ground over here. This should be our 5. 
oscilloscope jumped up a little bit. Get a little screwdriver. Turn the potentiometer. Let's see if we get any luck. Whoop. And it, the scope jumped up. Look at that. Okay. Big sine wave. Change the horizontal scale. Oh, come on, scope. And we have a waveform right there. The voltage is approximately, let's see here. Just stop that. Let's see. 600 minus 100 is 500. 500 millivolts divided by 20 millivolts. So 500 divided by 20 is 25. Close enough for eyeball math. And how this thing works is if you want to adjust the DC operating point. I'm going to zoom out on the scope a little bit. So now we're on a one volt per division setting. If I put it on, let's see, where's my, uh, put it on a faster sweep. Oops. Put it on something called roll trigger. Now we're going continuous EKG style. Now I could turn the potentiometer and put this wherever I want to within the range. You see there it's clipping because it's at 5 volts. It goes all the way negative, it clips. So you got to get it just right. It's the Goldilocks thing. So there's your pressure signal. The middle should probably be ambient. And then as the amplitude increases on the function generator, to get some more significant figures there. You could see the voltage kicking up and then it'll eventually start to clip. Yeah, you can see the top is clipped, now the bottom's clipped. That saturation, don't want that. So the circuit works. So once again, what do the pins mean? This orange wire here is 5 volts. The green wire is your ground. Everything is at zero. The red wire is a signal input yellow wire is the signal output. Adjust the potentiometer to get the voltage in the range that you want. Guessing ambient, you're going to probably want it around 2.5 volts. That way you can go positive and negative pressure. If you have to make the gain larger, you adjust the 1K or the 22K down there. If you need to adjust the filter, it's the 1K up on the top that's not covered by my finger and this 10 microfarad capacitor.